Welcome to the Laurie and Benny Show. I'm Laurie, your host. You're very this is Benny, my now psychic. In your old age. This is what I've decided. For my forties, I'm going to be calmly and monotone levelly. and lowly and very boring. Good stuff. Nah. No. That sounds terrible. It kind of feels like uh, the end of a kind of defined segment. You were going on about your birthday for so fucking much. Jesus, you're cursing and everything about the birthday. It's terrible. It's, it's over now, Benny. It's over. Now, in saying that, though, I am going to wait for a night next Tuesday. <laughs> okay, so it's not over yet, folks. Yeah, really dragging the arse out of it. Yeah, it's really nice. So how was Clancy's? It's actually a good crack. Oh, I can't remember the name of the band that we're playing. The Electrics. No. The Eccentrics. The Essentials. The Essentials. The Essentials. Yeah. All those three bands are really, really good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Essentials. Yeah, I'd never seen them before. They were really good. I'm... Um, now, I don't know whether it was the cocktails or the bands, but like we were just dancing. Like, but saying that though, all of Clancy's was dancing. Like, it was kind of a, like, remember we were there doing the promo for Derek? Yeah. The whole place was just kind of going a bit It mad. wasn't that good though. No, God, no, no, no. There was no fire lit under us now. Like, but, um, <laughs> no, but it was actually, it was actually a really good night. I really enjoyed it. Clancy's a good spot, isn't it? It's a good spot, good food, good cocktails, bit of music. I'd go back. There you go. There you go now. Any there old you go. people out there, 40, 50, <laughs> 60, go on now with the Clancy's. I'm not old years. No, sure, there, there was young fellas dancing around with Derek and everything. It was uh, <laughs> actually. Go on. Do you know what now? Because go I don't know whether she's actually going to see this or not, and I don't know her name, but she'll know who I'm talking about. So we were in Clancy's, and myself and my friend. Um, well, my friend was dragging me over to dance before the band had even started. There was a mum band with a guitar, and he was playing a few tunes. And there was literally just like two other girls, kind of just dancing in front of you, man. And one of them comes running over to me and she's like, are you Laura from Laura and Benny Photography? So my friend then was oh, like, are you Cork oh, famous? you're Cork famous, you're Cork famous. I was like, I'm really not. This is very strange. And um, she was like, oh, I wanted you to do my wedding in May, gone, and you couldn't do it. And she was so excited to see me. And then my friend decided to tell her that it was my 40th birthday. That and my other friend made me wear a sash. She was very embarrassing. And um, we went back to get a drink and the next thing I know I'm being dragged over again because she got the poor guy with the guitar to sing me happy birthday. So whoever that girl was in Clancy's who wanted me to do her wedding and I couldn't and they got someone to wish me happy birthday, sing me happy birthday. Thanks very much. Thanks for the atmosphere it was. Yeah, it was a bit of crack. I hope she sees this now. I, and I, I really wish I could remember what her name was but I can't remember. That's terrible. I can't remember. In the, in the yeah, blur was, of all your yeah. cocktails, was it? Well, I can't remember this morning. No mind. <laughs> <laughs> but I got to wear a dress and go out. Which was always nice. And on the subject of dresses, do you like the way now I tied that in? Do you see what I did there now? I don't know, no, but, but see I, what I, I did. I, I, oh, I, you're gonna. I tied this in for us. Speaking okay, of people sorry. with guitars. Yeah, go on. Fiona Kennedy's show was absolutely excellent. Oh, so funny, actually, because when I was out with the girls, it was like Benny went out to Fiona's show, Natural Woman. And it was so funny because you were like, I was like, how are you getting on? And you were messing me going, one man and 93 <laughs> women. I was like, are you uh, genuinely was, the only man at this? I'm pretty sure I saw Christy there. You know, Christy who drives the cars, vintage oh, cars. Did, did you not say hello to him? Uh, there, there was loads of people. There was 100 people in, in the auditorium. Okay. There was a great atmosphere in the auditorium. And it was, yeah. kind of, it was nice the way it was compact. It felt really, really compact. It's okay. uh, actually a great room. So like it created a great atmosphere and people were kind of, it was just really, really good. There was good buzz there. You, you but, enjoyed um, your night out, so. there. I'm pretty sure I saw some other faces there. So there's yeah. some, some wedding heads there as well. There you go now, supporting Fiona. You. Well done now for going. Yeah. Very proud of you. Oh, no, it was excellent. Yeah, came back with all the uh, women power in life and stuff and be like, yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. very emotional. She was really kind of like, she got the emotions Did you cry? Going. There was, there was, there was something in my eye now, there was, there was okay. a glistening Did in you have my eye. Cry? That's so funny that you there went you to Fiona's gig and had to cry for yourself. On your own, you went on your own. That's it. Got a you know, chip from my tongue. didn't get wasted though, because I kind of said to the man on the way out, I, I had two cry-offs who, who, who wanted my two cast tickets. Disgraceful. Terrible. They let me down. Disgraceful. Go on. Um, <laughs> Go on, tell me. <laughs> but anyway, they, uh, I, I said it to your man on the door, I said, if you get stuck, like the CPC beside me three. Oh, okay. And did he? He was. There you go. Do you know when you've just that moment of, I better just give your man the heads up there now that my kindness. I, I, I have a seat Goes a long in way. case anybody kicks up a fuss. And did you charge a full price then for it? Or? <laughs> I didn't mind contributing now. So it got used. Because well it, 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 not only did it sell out, it oversold. By one. By one. Or maybe more. You don't know. Maybe Could more. Be people. Yeah. So yeah, so that was your night out. That was my night out. Yeah. So speaking of dresses. It's ruined now. You've ruined it. Uh, no, but this week we're putting out a podcast that we did with Grace from Diamond Bridal. Diamond Bridal. Diamond Bridal. For all your wedding dress needs. Wedding That's dresses. not their slogan, but I just... <laughs> and also the bridesmaids. Dresses. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I learned all about the bustles. The French ones, the non-French ones, and the other ones. 
Okay. Well done. There was there was so box are, of veils. Are you going to bustle dresses now that we're like you know the way in the no, evening no. when the bridesmaids have been prepped on I this, see, but then they drink loads of prosecco. I, I see the yeah. six or seven or twenty seven phone lights being oh, switched so on in the corner. Yeah. Um two aunties and a mother fighting over what should be done or shouldn't be done. It's and so then, funny in those situations. And then I walk over and just go, yeah. yoink. And then you've one giggly bridesmaid who's just down here hanging around at the dress. And well, then, she's the one that was shown how to do it, but yeah. she's drank too much. She's giggling because she can't remember nothing. And then she's just figured out her own way of bustling, which normally has to be undone and just okay. fixed the right way. If you don't know what a bustle is, you'll have to listen to the podcast. And sure. Grace, I think Grace described what a bustle was. I'm pretty sure she did. And there was capes. And capes? Veils. Yeah. Was there? Capes. Well. Did you make that part up now in your head? Did I may you, have just. You can have a cape, but I don't know if we talked about it. You know, what do you call the dress that spins off? You can have a cape, right? You can have a cape and a veil, but then the kind of capey dresses. Over skirt. Over skirt. It's nothing to do with a cape. Ah, but there's so also you know a cape capes, goes on capes, your shoulders. The shoulder things. But I think I've seen one of those capes come off as well. No, you can. You, that's what I'm saying. Thanks there is. You see, see, but it's not. It's all up to date in the fashion. You'd want to cop on now and kind of get, <laughs> catch up with me. It wasn't discussed at all, Grace. Ah, <laughs> dresses talk that it was like it was, a lot of it was just a blur I think it might have been one of the quieter podcasts we've any to be fairness you kind of then I must give you props so you did go on and do your research and you had all the uh, the terminology when it came to dress styles and what's trending Benny's version of what's trending on money dresses well done very proud I you. prepare for the podcast you just get on and just be all chats so that's, what, that's what a podcast should be. It should be all chats. If, it, if the two of us came along with a big list of just like asking a question, it'd be very, very boring. True. Where are the crack so be? I'm going to throw some, 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 uh, some curveballs at you there now, Laura. Are you? Are go you on. ready? Go on. So you can take this, you can take up this question whichever way. If you want to oh dive gosh. out of one, you can dive out okay. into the other. But like, what dress do you think is going to be trending this summer? Or... Like, for the girl that gets it so, so wrong that their wedding dress is just like, they're Ooh. not happy with their dress, they've gone to their fitting, and it's just like, they're not comfortable. Like, I, what, what, I'll help you out here now. Like, what I want So is, you're going to ask me I'm the question, ask question and you're going to answer yourself. Cause, Go on, cause just because yeah. you're pure panic over I'm there. I'm not now. in a panic <laughs> at all. <laughs> but outside of the dress, right, if yeah. someone is having doubts about the dress, even yeah. if it looks fine, but they're just having the doubts to double check of will I buy my third wedding dress mm -hmm. or fourth, depending on what your personality is. Mm. Um, on your budget. On your budget. <laughs> that point, uh, you're just throwing it out the window. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it, like outside of what you're wearing, like the photographs, like it's your personality and your happiness. And you can still, like that, that stands out beyond the dress, like in terms yeah. of that. But then there's always the, some dresses are just, just didn't work out for whatever reason. I know the way you went straight into the negative. Is this a warning? Yeah, I was just trying podcast? to pause the intro. Do you remember that whole no, series? You used the word warning. warning. No, but like I, things do trend. Of course they do. But I think with wedding dresses, when it comes down to it, when you go into the shop, you're you're gonna buy what you feel yeah. looks best on you. Now I know there's a lot of like floral prints and bows and certain types of color and finish and actual um fabric is trending this year but in all different ways um but there is like i don't know you're I don't, like you're bringing it up to say like that some people buy a dress and then they second think it or they or they struggle in the dress on the day say maybe for for parts they... of the day and then but then they either become comfortable yeah or but but it, 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 are they let loose and they go they don't they don't they, they stop struggling with it do you know, you're kind of getting that thing of well, being comfortable it, in it or something. The thing about it is, is like, and some people have multiple dresses for that reason as well on a day where okay. like your first dress, they're struggling in it because it's very, like it's very fitted or it's very structured that like sitting is a problem. Um, or it's just like the weight of it. Like some of the, the genuinely there's yeah. somebody mornings and I'm like trying to hang the dress off something. First of all, I'm trying to find something strong enough I can hang it off that it doesn't pull it off the wall. And secondly, like my five foot four self is trying to yank this like, I don't know how much they weigh, they weigh so much, um, depending on how much embellishments and stuff are on them. So like, it could be the weight of the dress, it could be the structure of the dress. Some dresses, like they've got lovely cuffs on the arms, but like your arms literally will lift to here. You're not right, getting yeah. your hands any higher in the air. So when you go to like, be like, whoop, whoop, you ain't getting up there. You're like, eh, eh, like a little bit. Like, so little careful bit about... with the whoops. <laughs> when you come into the ballroom, get to the top table, you've only to do this. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no high arm whoops. No high arm whoops. 
you just go <coughs> tear gone no um but there's like but some but some people want the look of that heavy dress or that structured dress and it's yeah. they're not they're simply not comfortable to wear they look amazing but they are not comfortable to wear that's for the 10 hours they're probably really not crack exactly they're probably um, crack for like a half an hour and then a half an hour when you've had a few more drinks exactly and that's why a lot of people do the two dresses so okay. that they have the kind of more like I really want to have this dress on for people to see me in it, to get the photographs in it. I feel amazing. It looks amazing. But realistically, if I want to, you know, throw my hands in the air or I want to, like, swing around a dance floor or hang off the bar later on, like, it's not going to be practical. So they have a different dress. It could be a short dress, a light dress. They could be parts of the dress that come off, sleeves, skirts, yep. all sorts. So there's a million so and one options. things to do. But, like, I mean, but it's a good thing to bring up. And I know you probably didn't well, mean it that good, way, no, but, no, no, but to be comfortable on like, your... We weren't going to... I wasn't going to throw that at Grace, right? And go... Do you know people who really regret buying their wedding dresses? She's like, great, they come in and buy a second one. No, No, so I was throwing that at you, but like, is there anything else? Like, so, like, I was throwing that at you because we can have kind of the odd conversation or the kind of like... But we're there with them when they're wearing for the hours kind of thing. And it's kind of like, I think, obviously, you want to look good, you want to feel good. They're the two most important things. But you also need to have a let... Like, there has to be, like, I don't think you can use the word comfortable and wedding dresses together, but there has to be some level of comfort. They're not practical or not functional for certain things. Like, I suppose we mentioned that with Grace, whereby you remember in your wedding dress that you are going to be, like, you're going to have your morning... Mm. You're going to go to a church, probably, or a ceremony. You're going to be sitting down. You're going to yeah. go up. You're going to be doing some actions, yeah. pouring some sand or whatever it is going on. Mm. You're going on a photo shoot. You're then going to the pub, effectively, in a drinks reception. You're then sitting down for fine dining in a banqueting room yeah. that you don't normally do. Maybe some girls and have four dancing. wedding. Four, some girls have four dresses for nah, the wedding day. I don't day. believe that. They have no. their so morning and ceremony. Putting, they have their ceremony. Their walls and everything yeah. there before. And we're just living in the dark ages. <laughs> we're living in the dark ages. But to be honest with you, on our wedding day, like I would, if I were to pick out my dress again, I would probably go for the same type of dress. I love my wedding dress. I don't regret my dr- wedding dress in any way. Like I felt great in it. I liked myself on the pictures afterwards. So yeah. like it wasn't a bad choice kind of thing. But it was a very structured corset. It had yeah. a very, like mine was um, ball gown, so it was very big. I didn't plan a I don't know what the hell happened. I just ended up in a ball gown dress. Yep. To be honest with you, I probably either should have got a scissors at the back of it by the end of the night and just got rid of that <laughs> on train. On Kelly. Of, like, <laughs> I think people actually fell over it. Um, but not even the length of it. It was um, like, so like corsets are corsets. They're tight on you and then you eat a four horse meal. Like, gen- do you remember, yeah. this is a weird thing to bring up in podcasts, but I, when I took I it do. off, right, yeah. I genuinely had, like, the lines <laughs> of the corset indented into my stomach because I had worn it for probably, like, 18 hours, drank, eating, dancing, sitting. Yeah. Like, the only one thing I would do differently with my wedding dresses, right. I would have got a second for after the meal when we were dancing, just so it was more comfortable. Definitely and if we're putting terrible second. ideas in, in people's yeah. like, uh, brains, you don't have to go like full price on a second dress. You could no, you do it. And I think no. we've seen it where people put on like an oh, they'd be mini skirts and little white dresses. Out dancing, yeah. like, on the night out. Oh, totally. Yeah, like as the night goes like, on, they get smaller. Yeah, they're like they've done their first dance type thing, and then it's like kind of for whatever reason we've seen seen them say, yeah. and they've come back downstairs and. Um, they're like ready for the night out, they're ready for the band, yeah. DJ. And but whatever. it's the same with everything. It's like the same with the veil. Like a lot of people wear a veil, whether they planned on wearing I didn't plan on wearing a veil, I ended up wearing a veil. It was a gift. I wore it. Um, or if part of the day on something yanked it out of my head and I was like, that's grand now, it's done. I'm done. Um, but like the veil comes out at some stages of the day and people ask me all the time, so when do I take the veil off and when do I bustle the dress? There's no clear answer on that. It's when you want to take the veil out and when what's going on? And when you <laughs> She's, she's just, just checking just the just checking timer. Um, and when you want to bustle your dress, so like there's no, and it's the same, like if you've got two dresses, when, well, when do I change my oh. dress? Whenever you're comfortable I, changing I your you dress. I'll let you throw out an idea now because I know yeah. I hijack things sometimes. You do, you're, sometimes. Your ass is to the camera a lot there, post now. Um, is there any other, so, so because we're kind of, this can be like a quick chance to give someone a tip. Is there any other tips that people should kind of know regarding dresses before the day? As in, one, learn, probably learn how to do the bustle. But like, is there anything else that like they can go, check out before the day or you want to say to them before the day um i suppose the the (laughs) (laughs) good god um i suppose the main thing is that have some level of comfort and when it comes to actually wearing the dress have someone with you when you're a lot of people try to keep the dress a complete surprise as in like no one has seen it um, yeah, maybe so one really person yeah. so like the one person that's seen it they kind of need to be there with you um, to get into it in the morning kind of thing because okay. dr- wedding dresses aren't the easiest to put on so you need to get, like take time and there's a lot of taping and 
all sorts going on with a lot of dresses. What One thing I would say to you is a lot of people, um, it depends on the dress, but like a lot of people use tape at some stage on a dress to hold right. something in so it's not sticking out or if it's kind of something that's kind of like it's not off the shoulder but it's sitting on the shoulder they don't want it to fall off the shoulder so they tape it there but then there's other days where like there's no skin left they're taped in an inch of their life and you just kind of tell the person is like no afraid to move because they've been taped into this dress so much you're yeah, like yeah, okay I'm in. Be lifted, like, I'm in like if you move yeah tape, yeah. tape moves it, if it does pull, if you pull out it or wriggle it does, or whatever it does and the ta tape is great but it needs to be put on right. You need to give yourself time to put the dress on and also then right. tape the dress on. And the amount of times that people sit into it, especially in the summer, you, you spend all this time taping a dress because for some reason, and it might be just because it doesn't quite fit right in place and they could have altered ever so slightly to fit it a bit better. You sit into a car, you drive in a warm car to a ceremony, you get to a ceremony and then you go to get out and all the tape is lifted because you're warm. And if you're warm, yeah. you perspire. And if you perspire, the tape gets damp and the damp and the tape just kind of like comes off. But then the problem with that is, is if you are wearing fake tan and the fake tan is in any way transferable, like when the tape comes tape, off, it pulls yeah. the tan off. So you end up with all these white marks. So it's kind of a case of, yes, tape is a great thing. There's lots of things you can use under a dress to make a dress fit, a fit better. Right. Um, but you really need to probably try it maybe once. Have a before the wedding strategy. day that you're not like yeah. taking out like a lot of people take out tape and they're opening up the box for the first time and asking me Do you know how does this work yeah. kind of thing because someone said I should tape here there's been no trial with it okay. and then you kind of feel like because someone said I should use it you do use it we had one recently and um, she actually got someone in to do the taping for her right yeah. and I've never had this before and I was yeah. like wow okay that that's 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 that on a whole other they level doing, like they were familiar with it but like her tape stayed all day like right. it was a whole other level of taping it wasn't just your normal see-through like double-sided tape that you'd see this was different type of tape that like gave lift and gravity and everything stayed in place all day long um but she actually got someone in to do it for her cool. because she really wanted the dress to fit right and the dress, it, the dress did fit beautifully on her so like I think the main thing with clothing shoes fail dress anything like that and same with the lads with the suits is kind of like you know try everything before the wedding day from yeah you, you know don't, you don't want to realize the morning no. of that there's something something about the pants yeah like how they fit or don't fit like in yeah. terms of waist like a lot of lads do risk it particularly grooms and risk it and it's kind of like yeah. the shirt isn't exactly what they asked for or something or yeah something. that's so, it so try everything on the week off yeah like you wouldn't go to a hair trial and if you're wearing this big cathedral length heavy veil not bring your veil with you so that the trial can be done with the veil yeah. as well, the hair doesn't say bring your veil to bring your, your, to your exactly yeah so like it's trial. the same with your, a wedding dress you're not going to put on a wedding dress in the morning and try and figure out how tape works okay it's just that's just one thing i would say to Something people to help them yeah, yeah exactly and i would say to people as well like some people are like oh is it ott to have two dresses it's never ott to have two dresses especially if you want to go all out on the first one and it's heavy and it's uncomfortable and you just want to be comfortable later on or there's dresses out there that like if you don't want to take the time to have to go to a suite take the whole thing off mm. take the tape off take change the underwear like if so much has to be changed to get into the other one right. then there's a million other like and Grace went through it like the overskirts and the there's loads of different things you can do that yeah. it's a simple clip or open and you're just removing parts or adding parts it looks like a brand new dress and the style and the way they build them now is far more clever that you really don't know oh there's so so clever and yeah. they're they're so well fishing as well like they're yeah. so flattering and they and everyone just kind of feels great which is the main thing right. but um but yeah that's that's the Sorry main for thing with dress your podcast Penny, it wouldn't be a Laura and Benny podcast if you didn't hijack it. I'm just so loose to it. I'm like, it's whatever. Just my yeah. Anything else you'd like to ask me? Tapes and You've so, yeah, I can yeah. tell by your. Right now you're now covered in cross. cat hair as well. Cat hair. I'm, I'm, I'm a me. magnet for cat hair. The puppy's sound asleep and the cat's on the table. We can't win. Yeah. We actually can't Let's win. But yeah, so we're going to put out um, this week everything about wedding dresses, Grace's Loves and Knowledge. They have a shop in town. Um, obviously appointment only if you want to go in and try on a few wedding dresses maybe a few bridesmaids dresses very important also but um, yeah we won't say any more though because I want I don't want to give too much away in these pre-podcasts before yeah. the podcast but yeah if you're if you're on the uh, wedding dress look at or you might have one you're thinking of a second I should go in and buy another one yeah sure what's money I'm sure you're not <laughs> you can't take it with you you might suspend it 